Right, Sunday, we are gonna get these brakes changed out. Windy out here, sorry if it's making it uh, messed up. What do we got the new parts case in? There they are. All right, let's get to work. All right, getting these brake chambers apart. So my dilemma right now and what my thought process is, please let me know in the comments how you feel. These come with a single pin clevis pin. So this part of the actual brake chamber, all it is is the spring that goes to the bar that's already adjusted perfectly with a double clevis. And those double clevis pins are a punk to get off. I've heard, I have never done one myself, um, but you're supposed to have to heat them up and really hard to get them off. Everything in here looks good. The spring looks good. So I'm gonna, my process is I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna take this apart and use the back part for now. So I don't have to cut this and adjust. I don't have a double clevis. The, the wind moved it? Wow. Okay, go ride your big wheel. You only need to take off one of these to get it off. Breaks free pretty easily, but make sure you have it caged before you do that. You're gonna have some spring flying back at you. So that's what I'm gonna do today, guys. Just replace the actual parking brake side with the hoses um, that push down and uh, have that new part that's already adjusted and, and measured right with a double clevis pin. I'm gonna keep that part. Uh, let me know how you feel about that. And uh, here we go. You're gonna need a 11 16 for the clamp and you're gonna need a three quarter for the um, caging on the back here. All right, let's get back to it and make sure you mark your lines too, front and back. I ran my finger down this one. This is the back one. All right. Yes, Kay Kaysen. Oh, that was nice of you. All right. Love you, buddy. Your big wheel's under the truck. Why don't you pull it out, okay? His face is down. All right. I'm going to get back to this, Bubba. Hey guys, Just Truck and Wife Katie here. Got some brake chamber help for you today. Justin's gonna be my voice so he can kind of uh, describe everything while I point and kind of show you everything because he knows more than I do and I look better than he does. There we go. So. <laughs> Sorry about the wind out here, guys, but make sure you get your fittings loose on your old brakes. So what we're doing here, uh, as I said in the earlier video, get your fittings loose while it's still mounted up there. Um, those vice grips up there, I put those on there to kind of give me some more leeway on here because you got a spring inside there so put the vice grip to hold it and um we're reusing since it's already adjusted the shaft and the double clevis pin because these ones come with a single clevis pin right down there and so you need a double you can buy one but i didn't get that and the old one is a pain in the butt to get off so you're also going to want to make sure you mark your airlines One's gonna be the rear, one's gonna be the front. So I put my finger down that one and scratch the little line into it. That's my rear one. Make sure you also bring your kids with power wheels, of course, <laughs> so they can fight each other and push each other. And uh, yeah, we're using the, if you could turn that upside down, babe. We're reusing that, because all it really has is a spring in there, but it's already adjusted. So nothing's really, unless that spring goes out over time, might not be ideal. Let me know in the comments, but that's what we're doing today. We're gonna do both of these because all of the air, the diaphragm and everything inside of here, there's more rubber inside of here. And that's what's leaking for ours. The diaphragm is not leaking. Our old one, as you can see right here, this one right here, babe, the diaphragm doesn't have any holes in it. Kaysen, we'll push you in a second, buddy, okay? You can try for a little bit, all right? I, I got you, I'll push you in a second. But yeah, it doesn't have any holes in it, so the holes had to be inside of here. So that's what we're doing. You need a three quarter inch open end. Um, to cage it and you need a 11 16 to get this bracket or to get the uh not the bracket off 11 16 what was it oh to get the um airlines off yep so that's it and we're gonna get these changed out and mama is consoling the three-year-old all right guys take care god bless break chamber day um did it that way adjusting and working great so that is a quick fix if you don't want to replace the whole thing I'm gonna keep the new parts but Sunday fun day we did some brake chambers I'm gonna do the other two back ones next time I go to the shop buy two more just to have four brand new ones but that's it God bless and uh, we'll see you next week you are set to go again with the brake chambers probably do the two back ones again uh, pretty soon but you're also gonna need one of these I should have had it out there today but I forgot at home so it's a slack adjuster tools kit um 75 dollars at truck pro but 40 bucks online so get it online 
And you're also gonna need one of these, a sandwich maker. Yes, just joking. Have a great Sunday, everybody. See you guys next week.